All right, guys, welcome back to some more. <coughs> excuse me, um, more Dante's in front of last time we left off. We had solved a couple. <clears throat> stupid. We solved a puzzle or so, and then we made it to this doorway. And now we're going to be going through the doorway for the for the first time. I'm just like, how do you get over here? I, I was really like, how on earth do you get over here? And then down. Okay. I wonder if there's something special over here. Do, 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 do. Come on, please be something special. Not something that you're supposed to do anyway. I think it was something special. Well, and by special, I mean like extra. Uh, and what are we going to get from you? Frederick's Ring. So let's go to Relics. <clears throat> when Dante's health is low, there's a chance. Execute Divine Intervention. What? Wait, wait, what? When Dante is low on health, there's a chance. Execute Divine Intervention, which both stuns enemies and heal Dante. Oh, this is kind of nice. Uh, chance to perform a critical st oh, okay. on any attack. Uh, oh. For a second, I was like, how do you get up? <laughs> and up, and up. Come on, Dante. Up. Keep going. Keep going. I, I swear if I take damage for that. Come on. I, I really like this stalactite to fall. Because I just have this. What? Wow. Oh, good. I bet you I'll come back. Hmm. Okay. At least that was saved. Jerks. Okay, now one and two. Uh, we just, I didn't care about taking damage. I just wanted to get over. Ah! Uh -huh. Woo -hoo -hoo, almost for that. Woo. This is a little, like, nervous area. Because I actually forgot how to do it. <laughs> and it's real dangerous when you forget how to do Something. Oh, this is nerve. Eh, eh, ah! That was nerve wracking. Because <laughs> you're trying to do it a certain way without dying, and it's kind of like you gotta be fast, but you can't be sl uh, but you can't be sloppy at the same time. So one and two, and roll forward, and roll forward, and then so this time we actually didn't even lose health. Well, much health. Yeah. And up. And up. Uh, I wonder if it's just like as soon as you get to it or if it's time. Up. And then forward. Now. Yep, there we go. That's what I wanted to do last time, but couldn't do it. I really want to know why everything was just falling apart there in the first place. That would really be nice to know why on earth that was happening. Anyway. You shall not return. What'd you got to say, Virgil? Within this remaining cavern, there are three more circles. One below another. Each full of accursed spirits. So apparently... We've gone through six of nine circles. Well, that's nice to know. Although it's not nice in the sense that I have a... Uh, blah, 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 blah. There are a lot of abilities that I want to upgrade. And I want to know. Is there a relic that can help with experience? I, I really want experience. Not a holy or holy. I just want normal experience. 
Nope. It would be really, really nice if I could get some normal experience. Oh, I remember this. Violence. I remember this. Do, do, do. You, sir. I don't know what. What do you actually call it? Oh, Shoe of Nessius. What is the Shoe of Nessius? All the Dante's light side for text can no longer be evaded by enemies. I don't know how useful that is. Scourge to the earth, the feared emperor of the Huns, who is forever tracked on those who desire to drench in the main of blood. 6,000. Because right now I have to figure out what exactly I want leveled up. That only takes 2,000 more. 42 of Latius. Latinius. I guess I could get to five for this, because at that point, everything will be maxed out. And so, yeah, I guess I could go five. Because uh, I do I do want this. I don't have to get to seven. Like I said, seven is just something I don't feel like is necessary. But five is nice to get to. Uh, sins of the Father. I don't know if I got the voice right, too. So, Scourge of the Earth, Fear Emperor of the Huns. Yeah, and you'll be forever damned to you. Uh, me, personally, uh, I actually uh, am a war buff. <laughs> so, every good war buff knows about the Huns. And though, as a commander... I respect Attila. I don't actually particularly uh, necessarily condone Attila's will violence. Oh, I hate when that happens because you don't want to overjump because then you go too far. And I wish it was more like God of War, how you had that auto lock on. But we'll be going through that again. That is the only part about this game that I don't like. Because sometimes you may not necessarily have, you know, be lined up correctly. If you're not lined up correctly, you can... Well, not can. Most likely, you're going to die. I don't know why are my circle buttons being special. The Romans... Morning with the blood of blah, 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 blah. See, huh, huh. I love how he actually says, like, mourn him with blood. Isn't the problem, like, you're, you're craving for blood, the reason why you're in here? I mean, we're not going to touch that subject, Attila. That your desire for blood is why you're in here. Now, it would be very, very nice if I could. There we go. Do that. Like I said, I'm always kind of like hesitant. Um. I'm not even going to ask yet. Anyway, we're going to do this and this and this. And Obviously, not yet. I just don't remember what the point of this is. But yeah, like I always say, just too violent, just too violent. And then you let go, and then he does the. There we go. I remember what the point of it is now. I think you gotta break the axe off. As for why you have to do this this way, well, who knows? And one more good time should do it. I don't know if you have to wind it all the way. 
Now you probably gotta wind it all the way back. Cause I wasn't sure if you had to. I just.